What's up, wildlings? Another day in Austin, Texas. I'm about to go to the Paleo FX event that we go to every year. Got my wild swag on, my manifesto shirt, I, which you can get these at wildfoods.co. Use code WASI over 12% off your entire order. I don't handle all of our customer support emails anymore, but I did for the first two, three years of the business, actually. Every single email I responded to. Obviously, if you do that on a daily basis, you can get a little impatient with some of the same questions you get all the time. You can get a little impatient with some of the really accusations, dumb assertions, just the idiocy that you get actually. And you know, I say this because you get a lot of emails and you get some people that are customers, you get some people that just want to pass their time. You get, you get crazy people. You get people that will accuse you of doing things or feel like they got one up on you because they pointed out a spelling error or they were making this claim or that claim. A lot of times they, have, they don't have all the information. There's just a lot of issues with dealing with customers. And we all experience this. Like we, we, we feel like we're owed something. We have a sense of entitlement as customers, especially for companies that we frequent a lot. It's just one of these weird things that I feel like has kind of happened in the customer service space. The customer is always right. Things like that, that has really warped our brain to the fact that companies are just a co collation of people, right? A lot of times you're dealing with an individual person and they're not perfect and they, they're not there to basically satisfy your every whim or your every need. It's almost like a relationship, like, like, yeah, businesses should try to go out of their way to make you happy, but at the same time, and my belief now, after doing this for, for multiple years, is that I have no problem firing customers. I have no problem if some people never buy from us again. In fact, I've told people to never buy from us again. Just like if you're having a relationship with somebody, or even as a coworker, whatever it is, and you just kind of figured out that it's not, you're not congruent, well, there's nothing wrong with ending that relationship or avoiding that person or not saying yes to spending time to them or talking to them. Life is short. Why do we have to spend time with people that aren't on the same page as us, that are, that are just causing issue or whatever? Now, of course, you can learn from people and you can learn from people that might challenge you. That's, that's a different talk for a different day, right? But there are people in a customer to business relationship that should not do business with you. What I was thinking though, of how this idea can apply to your everyday life, whether you're in business or marketing or not, this is more of a life idea concept is this idea that you get what you put in from the receiving end as a founder of the company when I was responding to every email I could respond to email however I wanted to I had that luxury okay and sometimes it's not a luxury because I found myself responding too quickly or if maybe I was in the greatest mood and then I got this email and like I didn't like their tone I could literally come off a bit harsh in emails at times like I've definitely been known to send out those emails where I'm not very apologetic better I'm not in my email right because I've gotten more like that as I've dealt with more emails my perspective and what I learned as I was going through emails and some emails will be from customers that are like really sorry about things love your products they kind of put out a positive spin on their email or even apologetic spin instead of a demanding entitled spin. And I could tell that for me on the receiving end of that email, I always was more receptive and open to whatever they wanted. So there were times where we would have customers that would basically talk about how our product was this, that, whatever. Maybe it was damaged in transit, whatever. Uh, maybe they didn't like it. Who knows what it is? So when I would get these emails from customers and whatever it happens to be, if it was our fault, if it was their fault, if they're confused about something, whatever, I would find myself going out of my way to a lot of times refund the product, send them a free product, right? Or immediately two day ship a new product and let them keep what they have, things like that, right? I would usually throw in a few bonus minis, things like that. The, the nicer somebody was, and I, and I could almost probably m map this, right? The more apologetic and nice and calm and less hostile somebody was, the more stuff they would get from me. I would just throw things in. Okay, I had, I had the ability to do that because I was the founder of the company. A lot of employees don't really have uh, the empowerment to do that, but it's a lot of things companies should do because it's really, I think it's really great. But the idea here is when you're interacting with people, you get what you put in. That first interaction, whether you say hello to someone or you smile or you preface it like saying, hey, you know, how are you doing? How's your day? I have a problem with this here. You set people up with a better frame of mind and a better t and, and you have a better tone and they perceive you better than if you go at somebody and you're like, well, you got to take care of my problem and this pro product sucks and, well, and then you start complaining and, and being combative and being hostile. Well, people, humans, the way we communicate, we don't respond well to that. I don't care if you're the best trained customer service person in the world. You're going to be less open and less likely to give somebody or go above and beyond for somebody when somebody comes at you with that. So the idea is very simple. The idea today is approach all your situations with other people 
And this is just to benefit you the most. Whether you even agree with this, whether you think that people deserve it, whether you think the company screwed you ever, whatever it is, deal with the other human you're dealing with. Not hostile, friendly, open, warm, smiling, even apologetic. Because this is what will happen. You will get a faster outcome, you'll get a better outcome, and you'll both feel better on the interaction. So you'll actually come away from that situation with more positive energy into your whole being. That's it for today's vlog, guys. Like and subscribe, daily video, all right? Make sure you check out the Wild Foods channel as well. It's a Wild Foods call, I'll drop a link below. You can subscribe to that. We're gonna have a Paleo FX blog. I'm gonna drive down to the event right now. It's a huge convention, the biggest Paleo event every year. Super fun, our whole team is there. We're gonna have a vlog and behind the scenes stuff. Definitely check that out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or wanna talk to me, send me an email, info at wildfoods.co. Do something with today's information. Approach the first part of any interaction with another human by actively going above and beyond to be friendly, warm, and open. And you're going to get way more back as a result.